Have you ever seen your tortoise pass these white things right here? Kind of gross, right? People literally freak out about it. Well, let me tell you, it is very normal. These are called urates, and it's a buildup of excess uric acid, minerals, and other waste that the kidneys of a tortoise have filtered out and, of course, excreted. But it's the consistency that can tell you what kind of condition your tortoise is in. Stick around because in this video, we're going to go over some pretty fun but odd facts that are associated with beautiful, wonderful tortoises. Kind of gross, huh? This is what you want to see though. The consistency of this tortoise's urates are like toothpaste. And that tells you that the tortoise is well hydrated in a good state of health. And they can also be watery, which is also a sign of being well hydrated. When they're chalky or even hard, that means the tortoise is dehydrated. And if you don't do something about it and make sure that it does get well hydrated, you could be dealing with major health issues not too far down the line. You'll also notice when looking at this little pile right here that there is also feces because the tortoise can pass urates and feces at the exact same time. Just like with any animal, a lot can tell us about the health and overall condition of an animal just by looking at what it passes. But keep that in mind, white stuff coming out of your tortoise of any age, well that, my friends, is perfectly normal. <laughs> Hear that? This tortoise just hissed, right? But is it actually a vocalization? No. So when you hear that hiss sound, the animal's not yelling at you or anything. It's withdrawing its head and legs into its shell, which then forces the lungs to expel air. So that's all you're hearing is the expulsion of air. Although turtles and tortoises are capable of making some sounds, that hiss is never anything vocal. It is simply an expulsion of air. Sorry to disturb you, bud. Another odd behavior that so many people do not associate with tortoises because they think they're strictly vegetarian is when they eat something like animal matter or insects or worms. This redfoot tortoise right here is helping himself to an earthworm, and that is natural, especially for his species. South American tortoises, such as the redfoot tortoise or the yellowfoot tortoise, actually require some animal matter or protein in their diet, and they will actively seek out invertebrates or carrion or anything that's decomposing and help themselves right to it. But it doesn't just stop there, folks. It's not just with redfoot tortoises and yellowfoot tortoises. Go ahead and look it up on YouTube. You will find a video of a Herman's tortoise. That's right, a European scrubland tortoise, such as a Herman's, helping itself to a dead rabbit. To sum it up, tortoises are opportunistic. They know what they need and they know when they need to have it. And that is why, from time to time, you will see them do something like that. These redfoot tortoises here at Garden State Tortoise are always going after items such as earthworms and we love it because it's perfectly natural for them because they would be doing it in nature. Never underestimate these animals and we should never think that we have them completely figured out. Because let me tell you, we don't. What you just witnessed were two females starting to push each other around. And the reason I wanna bring that up as an odd tortoise behavior is because more often than not, so many people will claim, oh, my tortoise is a male because he's ramming the other one or he's mounting the other one or pushing the other one around. Females get territorial and they are capable of exhibiting the exact same behaviors that males do during courtship when they're getting competitive for nesting areas. It's the breeding season, it's the egg laying season here for our tortoises, so these radiated females, who are both, trust me, 100% two of our egg laying females, are starting to get combative, and that's because these nesting areas are precious to them. She wants to nest here, and so does she. So they start pushing each other around, and at some point, they will go so far to even attempt to flip each other over. And you can see right here that we've caught that on film. These two girls are really, really at it right now. And you can see by this one pushing this one around and even trying to flip her over, this is so similar, if not exactly like, what happens when a male is courting a female. 
Tortoise breeding is an aggressive affair, and so are territorial displays. Luckily, with radiated tortoises, they're not biters, so we don't have to worry about that. But what this can also lead to, as I said, is one getting flipped over. So this female right here is trying to overturn this female right now normal behavior, so I'm not gonna really interrupt it. We like them to live naturally here. But one of the phenomenons in tortoise behavior is when one is on its back, another or a series of others may come over and flip that one back over as if it's trying to save that tortoise's life. That's also something we've managed to catch on film here with this same species and this same group of tortoises where one of our females who was being overly aggressive to the other females ended up flipping herself over. And it happened many times that day. I kept having to go out and flip her back over. But then on the very last time, the male, the only breeding male in the group who was in fact the father of the babies that the eggs coming from these females would eventually turn into, flipped that tortoise back over. And you could see that happening right here. No one could really truly explain it. Was he being aggressive and he just happened to come in and flip her back over? Or did he really recognize her as in distress and that, hey, something's not right here. You're not supposed to be that, that side up. So the point is he did, whether it was intentional or unintentional, save that animal's life because when a tortoise flips over in the heat, if it can't right itself, it can actually cook to death. And in fact, some tortoise species, take the bowsprit tortoise of South Africa, for example, those animals use the extended guler scoots on their plastron to purposely flip a rival over so that he will die in the sun. Pretty amazing stuff. I'm curious what you guys think. Do you think that turtles and tortoises are purposely trying to save each other's lives when they see each other flipped over? Or do you think it's just an another intentional act of aggression saying, hey, get out of my way, I don't care what's up with you. Leave your ideas in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this video next.